what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers 4 again today jeepers creepers reborn we have some possibly exciting things to talk about now start off the bat we're going to look at some of these new behind the scenes images that i received courtesy of troy 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 jordan who watches my videos shout out to you for sending these over through instagram uh this is coming to us from I guess the the art director behind the film, Ro, Romain Ferrari. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name, but I'll leave a link to this artist's profile in the description. And look at some of these images. These are just more images that you see here. Apparently, of course, of the new what we're considering House of Pain for the upcoming film. Some new images of the rundown location that the creeper will presumably be taking his victims or just will be setting up shop at. For the majority of this film or another thing to consider is this just could just be the house where the creeper will have like an attraction of sorts maybe an attraction based off of the creeper and his whole story around the Poho county kissel county pertwilla county bannon county area east nine area uh because again we're all anticipating and pretty much have been provided more than enough evidence that this will be set 23 years after the events of the first two films first three films at this point um they also have like some more images that are high definition images like better quality images of the images i've already kind of shown or sent you guys showing the dairy doll the dairy voodoo doll showing us the shrine in the room uh showing us things i guess this has to do with the film too like a there's a bear image an image of a bear some other cool images of the festival itself here with a sign nice to meet you um for the with the creeper in mind it could be nice to eat you this image here is the image that i'm mostly curious about i'm i don't know if that's jason in the background but if you look down where it's zooming there are the creeper's daggers his throwing stars so now with these new images i did just kind of want to talk talk on the subject of i've seen you guys leave this down in the comment section the idea that maybe again like i've kind of talked about a little bit earlier in this video maybe there's an attraction set up that is based off the story of the creeper and maybe that would explain why we will see certain things around this film that look like cheap copycats of the creeper we all know and love because that's not him that was her cosplayers maybe there's an attraction going on maybe that's why these throwing stars are here because again this image looks like it's again at the horror hound festival so those throwing stars could be things that were again made off of stories coming from people who went out to the taggart farm who went out and heard stories about the taggart farm or again people who grew up during the last 23 years hearing stories from crazy old man taggart and about how he killed this thing that killed his son and how he makes a profit off of it now hanging it up in his barn as like a reminder to see if the legend is true and just kind of take another quick jab at the creeper in a way by insulting him even further by putting him up on display and making money off of him so those are some cool images again of the inside of what we are presuming is going to be the house of pain the other thing i want to talk about that troy sent over was this image here now i'm trying to find out where he sent it from because he hasn't actually responded to me about where he found this last image but if this is of course factual I'm just trying to understand what website he got it from. It says that the budget for this film will presumably be $20 million. $20 million would make Jeepers Creepers 4 the highest budgeted Jeepers Creepers film. Jeepers Creepers 2 is just shy of that with I think like $17 million. Jeepers Creepers 3 was of course, I don't, yeah, that was, that was a complete downgrade sci-fi channel worthy um in fact i think someone from sci-fi edited the film so this here to see this this is a little shocking to me i don't know again how true this is i have my doubts about this and i'm kind of a little bit bothered if this ends up being true because you have a 20 million dollar budget but then of course it looks like we're not getting jonathan breck back so 
You know, I, I on one end I'm happy, but then it's like the budget seems like you could potentially afford to get Jonathan Breck back. Not and again, Jonathan Breck probably didn't want to come back, uh, assuming he's not in it. I I don't think he's in it. I I don't think he's in this one. And then the whole twenty million dollar budget again taking me back to the fact that they're saying they want to start a new trilogy. Let's say this budget is in fact twenty million dollars. We know that the writer behind this has plans for a new trilogy. Screen media of during the official press release that came out around the time that we found out about this whole project in February, this was intended to be the start of a new trilogy. With a budget like this, with little to no promotion, what? How do you expect to make make that back with little to no effort in promoting it? And at this rate, I feel like we're gonna get a trailer for Scream Five and Halloween Kills before Jeepers Creepers Four. And Scream 5 isn't even supposed to come out till January. I feel like we'll get the first episode of the new Chucky series before we see the Jeepers Creepers 4 trailer. That We'll probably get the marketing for this film after the first episode of the new Chucky series airs. That's how, that's how bad it's gotten with what little official details we have gotten. We literally have not gotten anything concrete official about what is going on with this film since its announcement in February. We've gotten those YouTube videos and everything else but with a budget like this, you would think that they would try to go all in. But again, there's things that go into why they wouldn't. Victor Salva's past, not wanting to address Victor Salva. People coming out and asking for proof about Victor Salva not profiting from it. And then Screen Media getting a bad name from it. Then the director, who's the new director, Timo. Him having to answer questions that he doesn't want to answer about Victor Salva. Just the whole, all this dirt is just like going to hinder this film. It is. With a budget like this, if it's true, this is the highest budgeted film in the franchise and it's going to have the worst promotion behind it. That's honestly quite sad if this budget is true. And again, I will leave a link down in the description to the art director's page so you guys can see those images some more and see those other images that you probably have already seen before as well. I guess this is the original source for those images. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think that budget is real? And what are your thoughts on that budget? Are you pleased by that? If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification and image video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. But all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.